a few more rules to know about the for loop if before we exit I would like to actually print or use this value outside of the loop and so this is what I want to do I want to say count is and display what it is before I exit um, so I don't know it's just uh, count on exit is and displayed the code like this will not compile if I try building it it tells me count is undeclared variable this is when you use initialization statement of your for loop to create the variable in our case uh, it's a, a variable that controls the loop the way we have it right now this variable is a local variable that belongs to the loop statement using loop statement like a block statement of things and its life cycle is limited to the beginning of the loop and ending of the loop and beyond this point this variable is destroyed it's no longer available so if this is really what we want to do we need to do it this way so we have to take it out of here and declare it above the loop okay like this and so now it will be fine we can now build it and run it if we want and we'll be seeing that uh, uh, count on exit is 600 because when counter became 600 uh, condition became false and we dropped out of the loop and printed this <clears throat> what else can we do better or improve I would say that most programmers instead of using this type of statement uh, to update the counter because we're uh, using plus 100 we could use an arithmetic assignment like this this is a bit more expressive it does the same thing but if you take a look at the list of the operators right here there is a surprising number of uh, assignments which can do um, multiplication division and all all of this they all have the same level of precedence but you can combine it so when you have the left hand uh, left hand side and the right hand side and all you want to do is like take this plus this or take this and multiply by this instead of using that longer version of the statement like count equals count plus 100 you can shorten it by using one of these arithmetic assignment versions of the assignment operator so basically the idea of it is to do plus between this and this and then the result goes right back here we update the left hand side of this so this is more expressive and it's advisable to uh, to to uh, observe that this would be the appropriate place to use this arithmetic assignment i'd like to save this example and try something different for example, I'd like this. Uh, modif uh, I'd like to modify this and try something slightly different. So my idea is that I'd like to uh, print uh, pretty much the same thing, but so I'll just show you. Okay, so this is what I would like to be able to print. Uh, let me close the running program. I no longer need this window. So I'd like to keep printing um, these values as we did before, 100, 200, 300, and so forth. But I also want to insert some characters, and you see that these characters are sequentially inserted, like A, B, C, D, E, F, and so forth. So I'll just show you, like, you could find perhaps an endless number of solutions to this, and you probably want to see... Um, some kind of like you know the most obvious um, solution uh, to begin with you can always perhaps optimize it a little bit and, and improve it in the future but first I always look for the most obvious solution to a challenge like this so how how will I be approaching this um, okay I'll show you I'll create another variable 
and uh, this time um, yeah I'll create it outside here and it will be a character because I'm printing characters so character ch equals and let's start with lowercase a because this is the first character that our new task is asking us to to use so let's just stick with 500 so we print like 300 400 500 and stop then what we can do is um, we can um, use another for loop inside so this is an example of a nested loop where we say that um, in this for loop um, we can um, the the let's say that um, uh, this is uh, we need uh, to we need to be able to control the execution of this loop so very likely we need um, to say um, that we need another character I'll call it last character and initialize it to be the character that we already created plus three remember in ascii codes all characters are or they have encodings which are adjacent to another so abc will have encodings of like 65 66 67 and so forth so they're just like sequentially placed in the uh in the in the character encoding table <clears throat> so this is why it's predictable that a um a uh will be uh, a plus one will be a b and a plus two will be a c so i'm just uh, initializing it like this and then i say that when this last character um is um actually no i'm sorry i i'll, I'll say that if, as long as this character is less than the last character that i decided to use increment this character so i have the whole loop right here and we'll just do another output notice that i carefully update my indentation so that it's visible the nesting of everything is is observed so what we're going to do here is just simply display this uh, character okay so we start with character a and this is where it's going to be incremented and it's going to be incremented continuously and we rely like to exit out of this loop we rely on this outer loop uh loop controlling variable right here we just like on every iteration we should we're supposed to print three characters and say okay we're done so um what i'll do is um i will not print uh, this part and i'll just remove these comments we really don't need them and at the end of this i will print the space because we need to add space it seems after each character output right so this loop will print the counter then we enter this loop we say wh which which character is the last one to print and we say the the current one plus three and we say okay as long as our character is 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 less than the the one that we decided should be the last one it's like a stop sign right here we will increment our character at the end of the loop and now we'll just be printing the character so let's see if this works this is a you know nice challenge to uh, to try uh, let's let's mm, build the program try running it okay so um yeah um so i guess uh, it did go as expected 100 d so abcdf um, ghi and so forth and so this is this is a demonstration of this output mno was the last one to uh, to print so this is actually printing this let's update this here right so that's that's the way it prints yeah so just wanted to show you like slightly different uh, different uh, set and you see 
where I started was that I begin to observe certain patterns. Okay, I have 100, 200, 300, and I have the sequence A, B, C, D, E, F really broken down to like groups of three. So this was my approach to sort of like try to put something together that would implement the flow of all of these um, uh, increments and uh, updates um, and nested loop to produce this output. Also notice that notice that inside the nested loop, I use this initialization statement right inside the loop because the last thing only works here. And I really don't want to spill this variable anywhere else outside of this. However, char ch was necessary to be in you know to 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 keep it initialized to begin with because it's just a running character right so it's just alphabetically progresses through this so that's that's what i try to come up with you may find different solution there's probably endless number of solutions to this i just wanted to focus on two nested loops for this demonstration really that's what i was thinking about uh, when I was looking at, at, at this example.